Oh, oh man, oh man, boy, this is getting crazy. Yo, what is up there, guys, and welcome back to a brand new episode of The Evolve. How you guys doing on today? You know what I'm doing all right? We need to get right into this because the saga continues between that. Royce and Joe all, and Joel and Crooked. Now, if you didn't see my last video, I, I gotta bring y'all up to speed about where we are at because. Basically, on yesterday, we find out that Joe and the Joe Budden podcast, they stated that and they suggested that Joel and Crooked, they need the money. That's why they're doing that. And he's just going to let them do what they do because they're just doing it for the bag. And this is uh, let's play a little bit. God keep making it so it'd be like, wait, no, you <laughs> No way, not you. Wait, you too? Oh, and you. Everybody need a bag. And so the people that but, may but be lacking. But what we do for a bag differs. And because the line is so blurry today because everybody got a platform and is posturing, we throw around words like fucking integrity, but what the actions show is insecurity. I mean, and Joe, he also continued in that podcast to say that the those two were corny and he wished he could put them on the corny list. But anyway, they said that, hey, you're doing it for the bag. And if they need that, you can hear his partners and whatnot. Now, <laughs> uh, Crooked, he gets word of this. He hears this podcast. He hears the boys and Joe Budden and them gaslighting him and he responds now i didn't get to cover the response in yesterday's video but here was crooked response and you know crooked he just took to instagram he just posted up this he posted up a quote from quincy just saying you know about art and about money and about and and well you can read this this was basically his response and basically him saying hey we don't do this for the money now i don't have the clip but i was listening to him and um joel on a clubhouse interview on yesterday and they talked more about that that hey we're not doing it for the money and to suggest that anyway for bags yeah anybody that knows joel ortiz joel ortiz pre-slaughterhouse and post-slaughterhouse knows i've never ever done anything for a bag i've never compromised my music or my message i'm not out here rapping on no trap shit or being somebody i'm not i always decline those reality television phone calls to jump on loving hip hops and all this shit. It's not me. me I too. never do anything that's not me. A bag could never get me outside. I'm a family man. I mind my business. I keep it 1000. So Joe, that whole culture comment, I'll let you have that one. You can have that one, just that one, but don't call me out my name again. <sighs> Joe has decided to even respond to Crooked's response and Joel's response about not doing it for the money. The Joe podcast, they came on and he uploaded something on, I don't know why I'm looking there, and he uploaded something on today. And uh, we're gonna take a listen to this in response to this quote, in response to Joel and Ortiz saying, hey, we don't do this for the money. Let's just get, Let's just get right into it and let's go ahead and play. Real estate. <laughs> yo, and anybody out there having a bad day or just feeling down about life, yo, think of the guy that created memes who's just sitting home not getting paid for any of it. Right. That's crazy. <laughs> That's business. Let's slap some words on this shit. Damn, everybody using my shit. Me. Oh, I got such a great correlation. I'm Who named it a meme? Now. Fuck. Him. Him. <laughs> And he's memed out. See, he was doing it for the art. Mm -hmm. Right. Mm -hmm. He was doing it for the have, hell else. Have fun. Have Here we go. So, Joe is correlating, um, as you can say, if, I don't know if you heard Joe, he was like, oh, I got so, so, such a good correlation about the meme. Because he was talking about how the guy who created the memes is no longer getting credit because Joe was like, hey, you're doing it for the art. Just like, 
response to Crooked's little thing saying that he was just doing it for the art and not for the money. Um, so now Joe is responding, oh yeah, the mean guy, he, he, was, he did it just for the art, but there come a point, and uh, I'll go back just a bit here, and let's listen. Crazy. <laughs> That's business. Just slap some words on this shit. Damn, everybody using my shit. Man. Oh, I got such a great correlation. I'm Who named it a meme? Now. Fuck. Him? Him? <laughs> and he's memed out. See, he, he was doing it for the art. Mm -hmm. Right. Mm -hmm. He was doing it for the... Have, else. have fun. Have fun doing it for the art. At, at some point, you learn that there's business attached to the art. Hey, I came in that way. I, I understand came, niggas I that call me a hypocrite. I came in... Hey, the numbers are mean. I'm not thinking about that. It's just, it's just, it's just, oh, it's just a beautiful. It's just a passion of mine. It's actually too long as I can live and breathe. Da, 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 da. I get it. <laughs> mm -hmm. But then you keep seeing all the people that you make rich because of your carefree attitude mm -hmm. with your talent. You take it for granted because it's your talent. Mm -hmm. You do it so effortlessly. Joe really acting like he wasn't the weakest in Slaughterhouse. Joe was my guy. I like, I'm not even going to mess around. Joe, when he rapped, he rapped. He, had to, he, he did good and he could flow. Like, he, but he, crooked, he could not see any of those other guys. He could not see. And I think what Joe, and what Joe is trying to say here is, you know, you know, I was the star power. I made these guys rich and, you know, and getting taken advantage of. And, you know, he did the little, uh, we doing it for the art and we just got to do it because we like to rap and whatnot. And he was in right now. Joe's trying to say, no, there come a point. You got to do it for business, crooked. Forget your little quote. It's way, it is, this is all. Boy. And the thing is that I, I, I don't think that. I think that he understand, but he don't want to understand, or that's just not how you operate, but they're not, they don't have to be mutually exclusive. I mean, art and business can come together. I mean, this is what I did with my organization. I think that art is a part of business when it comes to this. I mean, who says you can't have both? Joe's problem is that he... Uh, He's been only one-sided. He's been only one-minded. Business, money, business, money, the business side. And when there is not a balance between art and business and love and respect, then you start losing your way. You start losing the people that came in because they backed a vision not back to your money. Joe even said it right here. Yeah, well, at first I came in, yo, the art, I love, I love this. But once you start losing that and you become one-sided, there has always got to be a balance and reality between art and business, between what you love and respect and what you going to, um, I guess, monetize and make a living off of. They know that. And with Crooked and Joel, they're saying that, yo, we've got art here. We have a passion for our fans. We have an art. Yeah, there's business attached to it, but we haven't lost focus. And he's so blinded by the business and the money that he can't see, man, I'm disrespecting and I'm losing everyone else. They're not on. There's there's a new mission. There's a new vision now. But no, nah, enough of that. Enough of that. And that's just what separates start to separate the shit. And I'm going to stop because I'm going to go on a whole different type of tangent. But this is what get me in most of my shit. And y'all not going to have me a slave to the Joe that y'all were introduced to or whoever I was back then. It's just not. Nah, 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 nah. We can't keep doing business that way. It's not, it's not for you to be angry at, at Joe. I'm compartmentalizing. Like, our time was our time, whoever that is. Whether it's an ex, whether it's a... Th we did what we did, and if we had a blast enough, I'm never going to say a bad word about you ever. Right. Uh -huh. But you are. I mean, these last few weeks, ever since you and Royce seen the project, you guys have. 
and subliminals and whatever that was yesterday, you guys had been. You're disappointed. You're shocked. They're corny. Like, you had been saying a bad word. That time is like encapsulated with me. We share a space. But girls do this. Dudes do this. Fam, you moved on. If they didn't move on, they still in that same, again, you at level 10, right? Y'all were at level 10. Pardon me. If you at level 20 and they still at level 10, yeah, level they still 20. thinking like level 10 thinking. Wow. <laughs> they still moving and acting and running around on level 10. You might be at level 20 going to 25. You looking at 25 and 30. They looking at 11. Who is these co-hosts? I've never been a fan of Roy and Maul, but I like them more. But who is it? So he's like, so Joe and them right now, they're like, hey, we moved on. We shared the space back then. It's done. Okay, then why are you mad? Let it go. <laughs> and then his hype man, his co-host is like, yo, Joe, yo, Joe, you at level 20. They still want to. Sit back in the past. That slaughterhouse, they at level 10. You at 20. How many business deals? How many sponsors have ran out? How many co-hosts have ran out? Level 20? Nigga, your, your man's is still on the level one of Mario. <laughs> Stop this. I know that's your friend. So you, they still in that same mental space as well as the same financial space, a lot of them. That's why girls oh. or guys, when the, when, the, when the significant other leaves, oh. if they don't level up, they stay bitter. But if they level up, they see you like, hey, see you, kid, you looking good. Da, da, da. Your man's is the one that's bitter. <laughs> They're happy. They're good. They're all right. Now, they were feeling a certain way that they couldn't get this project out and because you guys wouldn't hop on because they constantly for years wanted y'all. There was a sense of um, there was a sense of uh, if you want to call it bitterness or strife or no, nope, them are too hard of wars. There was a sense of um, intolerance. They just couldn't tolerate it no more. They were tired of the excuses. They were tired of Roy saying, I'm waiting. They were tired of you saying, I'm, 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 I'm retired. They were tired of not providing something that the fans want. The time was here. No one moved on. You moved on. Okay, Joe, you have admitted it right now. I have moved on. We shared a space. Let it go. Because they leveled up. They leveled up. Right, right. If they don't ever level up, then they tight. That's the resentment. Because they didn't personally level up. I know, and I keep looking at it like the end of BMF with Meech and Big T. And Big T was like, yo, dog, this ain't my pal. I'm going to do something else. I'm just like, I got a kid. <laughs> like, I don't want, whatever, whatever we're doing, just lives and lives, I don't want to do this no more. Imagine, that scene really didn't do nothing for me because they're going to keep loving each other. <laughs> what is this? This scene does nothing for me. Somebody that you love wants to do things differently mm -hmm. than they've done it in the past. Now what? I'm ashamed you for it? Or I'm going to try to hold you hostage to who I know you to be? Mm -hmm. I'm going to try to leverage some, some other shit to get you to behave in a certain... Yo, dog, is that ever going to happen with me? No! <laughs> Come on, man. Okay, so the money thing didn't work. So he tried on yesterday to say they were doing it for the money. So it's so crooked response. So now Joe and them are taking a different angle. He's saying that they are now, it's kind of entrapment. They want him. They couldn't get him to rap. They tried it. So now they just went on and put out that little single, put out this stuff to see if it's going to work now. And Joe was like, that ain't going to work for me. Someone that you love. And so now you're going to try a different angle. So now, once again, Joe is the victim. And they're playing him. He's trying to make it seem as they're playing. No, it's not that deep. They asked. You said no. Year went by. Years turn into years. I mean, in, in, in a decade. And now there's like, let's just do it.
Now, rather that motivates you or not, but you truly in your feelings, but <laughs> Mr. Level Up, you're level 20. What, did, what was that whole level up? Nigga, I identify as a pterodactyl. That's my pronoun. <laughs> what am I talking about? Come on. I'm going to say that to somebody. I'm going to say that to someone. You know who I am? You know my pronoun? Yo, my pronoun is pterodactyl. See me, cub, blood. Come on. That's why I like that at boy last week. Like, that's who you want to be. You want to be that, that person. And you want to have people in your corner that support whatever the, whoever you want to be. What if small business insurance wasn't all hold times, fine print, and paperwork run amok? B, that has to align. It got to align. That's why on that topic we was talking about, uh, the Dirk interview when, uh, Gilly and them niggas went out there. And I was sitting there saying, oh, I can't be in that. And y'all was like, why not? It's a move up. For me, it's, well, I can be in that, of course. I come from being in that. Mm -hmm. But where I'm going, maybe that's off thinking. I don't think so. I don't choose to be there. There was a point in time where when the, when the strip club was over, we, we was at the afters. Yep. Mm -hmm. Today, no way. <laughs> no. I couldn't imagine it. Mm -hmm. I couldn't imagine it. In five years, I don't, if I'm just picturing myself, I don't want to be at the afties, yo. And I'm not going to be mad at nobody that still want to be at the afties. Of course not. Corey sitting right here, this nigga will tell you how miserable I was running around doing shows for $2,500 and doing hostings on Friday, Saturday. Now, I was miserable. Parks was there on tour. Yeah. I hated all of that shit. Thanks. I hated all of it. Yeah, I want to try to do something different. Thank God it worked. But niggas skip that part of it could not. <laughs> it could not. And then when it worked, you just turn into the bad guy. Right. Somehow. For a lot. Like, nah, fuck that. Fuck that. Wow. Nah, you can't you can't There's a lot of space between X and X and Z. I don't want nobody around me that's gonna try to make me feel ashamed of blessings. Wow. I know it's a lot of that going on. For women, they get to play around with the means. Hey, right, let's just stop right there. Let me just break down what he just said in case y'all missed it. Because Joe does a lot of talking and subliminals when he's talking about friends and supposed loved ones. So um, let me interpret what he just said. And that was dirty. Uh, basically, he said he's saying that <sighs> people shouldn't stop him from his blessing. Is that now he is turned into the bad guy because he found out how to do something else. He got tired of the rapping, he got tired of the bus tours, so he decided to make moves elsewhere. And he's not gonna allow Joel or any of the other Sarhouse members or anyone try to shame him because, like he said, it worked for me. Y'all are still there trying to make Slaughterhouse, but this worked. Why y'all trying to shame me? Y'all got to go back and try to rekindle that. Like, th these are all shots. These are all shots. It's, wow. But yeah, he. But that's basically what he is saying, that podcasting work. I want to do something else. Um, yeah, now y'all trying to shame me because... What I did worked, and it ain't my fault that y'all gotta still try to do that. So you don't want to rap, so you are admitting that you didn't want to do Slaughterhouse. I don't know, guys. Wow. All right. Well, that's Joe's and them response. Who are these calls? Yo, Joe, you leveled up on them. Leveled up. <laughs> oh boy, oh boy, the saga continues. Hey, if you're new to the channel, you don't want to miss another episode. I thank you guys for watching because you know you spent I don't know what 20 minutes. Um, you could be doing something else with your life. Like you got you got kids, work, 
other stuff, but you decided to take some time to look at me. So I thank you guys so much. Please go ahead and hit the video with a like. If you're new to the channel, be sure to subscribe. I will see y'all in the very next video. And as always, uh, character first, people. Character first. It's going to be all right. I'll see y'all next video. <laughs>